the Chelmsford For You podcast with Will and Sarah, an exclusive look into all things Chelmsford. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I'm Will Richards. I'm Sarah Tupper. Welcome to another episode of the Chumps For You podcast. Today, we're at Full Circle in the Meadows in Chumpsford. Yes, we are with Pauline from Farley Hospice. Thank you so much for having us. You're very welcome. Thank you for being here. No, thank you. So tell us a bit about where we are now. OK, so this is the Full uh, Circle store, which we opened last year. Yeah. Um, it's um, a different concept for us. So we, we named it with a, a slightly different name and it's named after our adult bereavement service, actually, okay. which is the Circle Bereavement Service. But we felt with the clothing, when people donate it, it allows us to give the, the, a re-life to, if you like, to yeah. the clothing. So people donate it and it goes full circle and someone buys it and enjoys it again. So that was the concept behind the name. Um, and as you can see, the stock we have here is just fantastic. It is really uh, We've got lovely. really um, amazing stock. It's, it's adults and um, only. So we've got men's wear and we've got ladies wear. And at the very back, you see, they'll see prom wear and bridal wear and all sorts of special occasional wear, lovely hats. Yeah. If you're happy to go to the races or something like that. So amazing stock. It is. Everyone. And it, I think what you've done here is absolutely amazing. It mm. looks really nice, doesn't it? I like the concept of being able to be better for the environment because yeah. you're buying secondhand clothes or what's the best term these days? Secondhand pre-loved pre pre -loved. Yeah. Pre -loved clothes and also at a much better price. So absolutely. in this climate we're all in at the moment, it's going to help us all. No matter how much you bring it home, it's yeah. definitely a, a benefit to everyone. Absolutely. Uh, especially that bridal wear section at the back, isn't it? Eh? <laughs> Absolutely. You've yeah. been eyeing that up. <laughs> Me too, to be honest with you. It looks great. How long have you worked for Farley? Nine years. Okay. My nan used to be part of Farley when um, it was on Molsham Street, that site there. Oh, what, the shop? Yeah, when it was a shop. Oh, it's still there. there. Oh, is it still there? Oh, yeah. I grew up in there. I was looked after there every Saturday <laughs> afternoon. Yeah. Okay. Well, I never grew up, but you know what I mean. <laughs> So, Pauline, mm -hmm. this is one of your incredible charity stores, raising money for Farley Hospice. Yeah. Tell us about the hospice itself. Uh, so, Farley has been in existence for about 40 years. We had our birthday two years ago, and we exist really to support those that have been given an end-of-life um, diagnosis, those that are in palliative care. Mm -hmm. um, so, we support people both um, in our inpatient unit, where, where we can give them all sorts of care, clinical and medical. Wow. And we also support people in their homes, which is often people's preferred place of yeah. support. And um, a massive amount of our care happens across the whole community. Um, so we also support people um, and their families to actually come to terms with, with death and dying and with their diagnosis, and to, to support them to put anything they need to, to uh, put things in place. Um, we also support people, sadly, after people have, have, have died, and we have two bereavements services, one for adults, uh, which is the, the circle, which I mentioned, yeah. and also a yo-yo service, which is for um, children who are right. you know, coming to terms with a loss. Yeah, I thing. think that's the important thing to remember, isn't it? It's the whole family yeah. are so affected and, yeah. and all the services that can support everyone absolutely. throughout that journey. Yeah. I think what you do is absolutely amazing. Um, and of course, raising funds is a huge part of that mm. because the hospice itself isn't cheap to run, is it? No, it isn't. <laughs> we, we do receive some NHS funding. Yeah. But actually, we need to raise um, over £21,000 a day. Uh, wow. to That's actually, all. <laughs> there. So um, my job, um, and it's a weird title, but commercial director is actually yeah. to look at ways that we can bring in money. Right. And yeah. that includes everything from the appeals that we do um, through to anything, anyone that donates in memory or online in any way. If they jump out of a plane, do the marathon. Yeah. We've got open gardens coming up. There's lots of things that happen in the community. It's a big part of of the of the amount of money that we raise actually but another big part is is our stores yeah across essex and uh, mid essex and part of um bringing this to the city center was has been an aim of mine for many years and we're really thrilled that we're on the, on I the think high it's street great it's a lovely setting as well so is full circle is this one of the first full circles this is the only, the full only full circle, at the moment right, okay. yes at the moment at the moment yes at the moment but with a bit more funding well actually it's actually finding the right place at yeah. the right time right. and um you know, we, we do have to pay market rent. So yeah, we, you know, people think that people, you know, charity shops just come in and get it for free. We don't. No. Um, so, you know, we have to look at it from the commercial aspect, really. Yeah. And we have to ensure that we can run it and ensure that we're making a profit. Because at the end of the day, um, our job is to bring in money to help our services run. Of course. And that is why we've got an um, amazing team. But we actually have an amazing team of volunteers across yeah. um, the whole organisation, but particularly in our shops. And we are really always on the lookout for new volunteers. So if anyone's 
is interested, just go on our website. There's always lots of opportunities, not only in retail, but across the organisation. You know what the next question is then, don't you? What's that? What's the website? <laughs> <laughs> okay, the website is farleyhospice.org yeah. and um, it depends on what area you're interested in, if not slash volunteering, or if you go along the top, you can find various headings, or if not, just contact us and we'll put you in, in the right way. Put yeah. you in touch the right direction. Yeah. So there's a few different ways people can support. You can just donate. You can, you can donate old clothes, I presume. Absolutely. Uh, new clothes too. <laughs> new clothes too. You can and donate anything you want. Furniture as well. We oh, have, right, okay. We have two homeware stores as well. And you can also do a sort of a, a charitable fundraiser such as, you mentioned jumping out of a plane, a skydive. Yeah. So yeah. I've got an idea. Oh, wow. Because <laughs> I know Sarah is a <laughs> massive charity fan, aren't you? You I do am. a lot for charity, but, but I you do see where this is going. You haven't done something like that before, so maybe we should get the wonderful viewers of this podcast <laughs> to sponsor you mm -hmm. to do a skydive for Farley. How about that? Well, let's change the subject really <laughs> swiftly. <laughs> Thought we you like charity, Sarah. <laughs> we can find something else, Sarah. Honestly, we can find something else for you. Mm. Um, but that is not really an exclusive for today. We are here to talk <laughs> about some very exclusive, oh, exciting yeah. news yeah. Um, with regard to fundraising for Farley and exciting stuff happening within the city centre. Yes. Coming in 2025, a real Pauline, buzz about this one. yeah, there is a big real announcement. Buzz. See what I did there? You'll find out. There's going to be a buzz in the city because we are launching an art trail um, in Chelmsford um, in the summer of 2025. Well, it will actually be happening in 2025. Right. We are launching it right now. Yeah. And um, basically, we are going to be bringing a whole swarm of bees to the city centre for people to go on a trail, follow the bees, find out more about both the companies that sponsor them and also about bees and wildlife and how it affects everyone. And we're so excited about that. We're looking at having 40 sculptures. It's Some will be, be 3D, which are Some really be. massive bees. Hmm? <laughs> um, and uh, some will be 2D, which means that you can actually stand in front of them and be the centre of the bee and have some selfies done. Oh, awesome. So they're going to be really amazing. Um, and we're also going to have a little um, area for baby bees, which are actually a community and schools program. So uh, we've got a whole program that we can work with schools, different organisations across, across the, the area to actually have their own baby bee that they will have a project around painting and uh, being part of the trail in, in the form of perhaps as, uh, in, in one of the centres somewhere. This is so, going to be brilliant. Definitely. It's going to be amazing. You're excited, I can I'm tell. So excited. I'm looking forward to it. There is a link to the bees though, right? Why there bees? Is. Um, well, we just felt that, you know, in terms of the environment, actually, bees are really, really important to us. Mm. We have, they are hard workers and actually we are all hard workers. And, but it's part of the community. They've got a really good community. Bees are one community. And that is where we came from with, in, in the choice, really, of yeah. um, deciding on having a bee. And actually, they're really lovely sculptures um, and a really yeah. lovely uh, way of... Um, talking about bees and actually bringing everyone in, families, everyone to walk around our city and see what we have to offer as they go around the trail, both in the city and, and as you go slightly outside. So people could do the trail in one bulk, in one loop, if you like, because it's actually two loops that go out. Okay. Um, or they could just do one part of it and carry on and come back. And there'll be an app associated with it so they can click on the app and find and out you're more going about all it. Out. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It is, it is going to be really exciting. Chelmsford for you are privileged to be supporting uh, Farley next year for the trail. Um, it's going to be around summer 2025. Lots of local artists are going to be involved with decorating them. Um, and as you've mentioned, community groups, organisations and schools, yeah. kids can get involved. Um, with the trail, a really important thing going back to raising those vital funds yeah. for Farley is around the sponsorship of each of the sculptors. So there's going to be business sponsorship packs available very very soon so if you work for a local chumps of business and want some more information then pauline can uh, yeah. provide all the information um, and it will be through the website won't it yeah through the website um which is farleyhospice.org forward slash art trail or there is an email address which is art trail at farleyhospice.org and uh, or just contact any of us in the team or, or pop in a shop and just ask to connect with me and uh, we'll put you, we'll send the pack to you. Um, it's a great opportunity actually to get out there in front of thousands of people. I was say, there's a lot of exposure there for businesses. Absolutely, Definitely. lots of exposure. And actually post the trail, what we then do is hold a really big event where we auction off those bees and then people can come along and actually 
buy their own bee, whether it's the organisation that wishes to buy it or a business or an individual, which is fantastic. That'll happen late September. I now want a bee. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've got space in the that garden for a giant bee. Absolutely. How big are they? Your garden at the moment. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah they're, they're quite big. Um, so they'll be probably as tall as you are. That's very tall. <laughs> yeah. Six foot two bees. <laughs> That's record, crazy. Yeah. You've got your platform on today. Leave well. me alone. <laughs> OK. So people can get involved that way. But obviously, there's also the ongoing traditional way, um, like we said earlier on, donating um, funds, new clothes, old clothes, whatever it may be, yes, all right. via filehospice.org. Yes. Yeah. I mean, if you pop into any of the stores, obviously, you know, find out how you can do that. If you want to bring a lot in, then they probably need you to, you know, tell yeah. them what you're, you know, when, <laughs> when you're bringing it in. Because, as I mentioned, the volunteers are actually the backbone of our retail yeah, operation and actually making sure that we can cope with, you know, the donations that we get, making sure that we can um, make sure everyone's safe as well is of really, course. really important to us. Um, and just on that point, actually, um, it's actually saying that when you do donate, think about it. Is it is it broken? Is it good? Can, would I buy it? Mm. Yeah. And actually, because we do receive quite a lot of donations that we can't actually sell, okay. and unfortunately that then costs us quite a lot of money to dispose of. Yeah, of so we're right. trying to educate people about actually sustainability. About yeah. um, you know, you wouldn't want to go in somewhere and buy something with a hole in. We can't sell something with a no. hole in. We sell really good quality across all of our stores. Yeah. We can have a little look around afterwards yeah. because it is pretty much, I'm well, going to say we'll it, the summer. We'll get the still open and ready for you, don't worry. <laughs> Thank you, good. Okay, yeah, so a little bit of summer clothing on the way, but that's the most important thing as well is yes you can support by donating doing a skydive like Sarah's whatever it might be <laughs> but you can just come and buy yourself some clothes and yeah. support that way as well so Absolutely. pop down to the new if you don't know where it is I mean where have you been but it's <laughs> literally on the corner of the meadows um, just outside there's an on entrance the street, uh, yeah. on the high street yeah. yeah so pop down is there anything else you'd like to add um, well, you could do the skydive too. How yeah. about that? Okay. Yeah, actually. I've actually done a skydive and I'd love to do another one. So well, there yes, you go. Let's get it done. We should have a chat about this afterwards. We'll have a chat. We're gonna get, are you scared of heights? No. It's not the heights I'm scared of, it's falling into the ground. I was gonna I'm say, scared it's, of, yeah. it's the least of my worries when jumping out of the plane. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Right, we're going to have a little shop around now, a little nose around. Yes. Might buy myself something fancy. Thank you very much for having us. Thank you very much. Really Thank appreciate you. it. We'll see you on the next one. The Chelsea For You podcast with Will and Sarah. Get involved, like, comment and share.